Hello viewers, I'm God Unit 10, and I bet you guys are wondering where I am. Well, I'm in the world of Minecraft, best place in the world, and I'm going to teach you how to survive in this world. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to collect wood, like this. This is what wood looks like. You need to collect wood, and you need to get it from these trees. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and just <laughs> you... Punch, you punch the, <laughs> you punch the trees <laughs> until they break. Alright, so let's begin. Sometimes the leaves get in the way, so you're going to have to break the... Then, <laughs> once you get that, you unravel or discover one of the most important materials in Minecraft. Sometimes it's too high, so you're going to have to build up and break the tree. Once you have completed this, you, we will go ahead and start making our shelter because we need, we definitely, or else the creatures will come out and destroy us. So, once you do that, once we make our shelter, I will go ahead and show you the different kinds of creatures that you'll be facing out there in the world. Once I collect all the, it takes a little while. You have to make sure that when the trees, when you get all the wood out of the trees, that don't freak out if they disappear because it's just decaying from. Okay, we've completed that. And over here to my right is a seed. We can plant these around the world to grow more trees and such. Alright, now what we have to do is find a suitable place to make our first home. Usually, you would start by finding a cave or something like that. And before it becomes night, we have to find coal to make torches so that monsters can't spawn in our house. So over here, I don't know if you see this, but this is bones and arrows. This is a, this is the remains of uh, hostile monsters that you can find in the world. An arrow that you can use to shoot and once that is used to uh, pools or to make trees really and right now I see coal in here and I see right I see coal right here so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what to do first you need to make a tool chest and to make a tool chest you need wooden planks which you need Four blocks of wood in your center. Now we're going to go ahead and make wooden tools because we still haven't gotten any stone yet. So, and now I have. This will help me, uh, this will slowly help me mine any stone or coal and iron ore if I'm lucky to find it. So, we'll go ahead and get this coal because we need it. So, so, and now we're finished. So, now we're going ahead and continue down our long journey into what will be our future home, probably. First, I need to make torches. I can see whenever I'm down there. We have 16 torches, which I'll show you guys what it looks like. And we place them anywhere in dark areas and it's still light up. We'll go ahead and do that. I, I'm hoping this cave is really small so that I don't have to worry about discovering it. So yes, it's very, very small. 
and go through this cave and collect the rest of the... And then this will be our temporary home for the night. As I collect the coal, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and collect some stone too because uh, stone will help uh, me mine a lot faster. I'll be able to make a sword and I'll be able to fend for myself down when it turns to night. And hopefully, while I'm in this world called Minecraft, I'll find friends to help me out. Maybe on the other side of this island, I don't know. I want to trim this place up, make it look nice. And this is perfect too because it three height block so that I can't have I else or or this board sorry if you guys cannot see enough stone our first stone pick or sword and make a sword because you need to be able to just defend everything and start making it So I see there's a uh, little entrance here, another. I'm trying to think of how I can make this strategically. To I have my sword, so I can just attack anything that. So I'm trying to think if I can a wall going this way that it leads into my house, and then I'll make a roof to the little. shelter me and nothing can get on top of me or under me safely in my little so and before long we're gonna have to get a bit so that um, I can sleep through the night And yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and other resources out there like wool and more wood and stuff like that could to survive in this world. Okay guys, uh, it's starting to turn into nighttime and as you can hear there are a lot of creepers and stuff like outside. A whole bunch of stuff that can kill me and, and anything that they can do when they get a hold of me. So first thing I gotta do is I gotta block off my home so that no nothing can get in. And the way to do this is by just placing blocks across your house or whatever your entrance is, anything. And just uh, just anything you can to keep them from coming in. So I'm sure this, this dirt trench will be able to keep them out. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a little path right here. And I see a sheep up there already so I'm gonna go ahead and get a bed just to protect myself and go to sleep through the night. <laughs> ah, I see my first spider. First two spiders, actually. Okay. The, the proper way to hit them is that they launch at you when they get close enough, so you gotta back up. It's timing is everything. Well, right there I kind of screwed up, but yes, that's exactly how you find them. Anyway, I saw a sheep up there, so I'm going to go ahead and get it and collect its wool so I can make my first bed. I need to find a way to get up here, so. 
and I hear my first skeleton. These are the creatures that I'm talking about that can hurt you. Two, two, mm, two of them. Let's see if I can protect myself. Go back into our little protection hole. And this will protect us through the night, I guess. It'll have to do for now. See if I can block off the top because we're trying to jump down. And there's another thing. If one, if any other creature hurts themselves, if one creature hurts another, then they'll start being hostile towards the other creature. That's like it's a fend for themselves thing. I don't know how to explain it. But this world is something. I don't know what it is. I think I'm going to go ahead and kill him from here. So I think I think we're safe. I think we we can collect the wool now. Let's go ahead and get out of here. What well, we killed him for? Oh, there's one right there. All right, let's see what we can do to kill this guy. All right, he shoots arrows, so you gotta dodge him. Okay, I don't think I have enough life to fight this one, so I think I'm gonna have to just wait out the night for now. I don't think I have enough time to go up, get the sheep. So I think I have to have all this time, and I, I'm a little protected, I guess. I think I'm going to go ahead and just use this time to make my house look a little better. And I know that looks isn't everything, but sometimes you just you need to make it keep it clean. To make it a little more convenient for you to move around, gives you a little more time and everything. And the night, it's I don't know, it's really hard to survive. And we need to we need to go ahead and start collecting food and stuff just to survive. Um, there, okay, I'll go ahead and explain to you all the things that there is out there. All right, first, there are pigs. Pigs, uh, they can't hurt you. Um, and you can't, you, you can hurt them. All you have to do is hit them, just like you would a skeleton or anything. And when you, after you kill them, they drop a uh, pit pork, which you can cook and turn into a uh, really good meat. And you can eat them raw, but it doesn't taste nearly as good. So, just giving you a heads up. Okay, and then there are cows. Cows, uh, they drop leather when you kill them, and they're not hostile at all. And we'll, uh, we can use leather in the future to make uh, eye or armor and stuff uh, to keep you protected from uh, when you fight the hostile uh, creatures in the night. So, okay. And then there's um, the next thing is sheep. And sheep you can use to just cut and take. You can you can either hit them and take off their fur, and you can use that to make beds or even just like. Uh, any kind of clothing at all just to make you just to make your house look nice or anything but the other than that they have no other use so you can go and kill them they don't drop anything and then there are chickens and they drop uh, feathers which in the future we'll be able to make and turn into uh, arrows so we can kill our enemies from a distance um, okay and I think that's it for all the uh, the creatures that won't hurt you <laughs> um, Besides the squid, squids are uh, they're in down deep into the ocean, and the only way you can get to them is by holding your breath and going under. And uh, when you kill them, they drop ink sacs, which you can eventually turn into a, a black colored wool. Okay, and then uh, that's it for all the uh, non-hostile uh, which you can find. And, um, the things you need to worry about are, for one, they're creepers. Creepers, uh, they're about this tall, just as tall as you, most creatures that are mean are, and once you get close to them, they'll start to hiss, and once they hiss for long enough, they'll blow up on contact, so you have to stay away from them at all times. Maybe you can hit them really fast and run away. I, I haven't figured out a method yet, so uh, hopefully if we run into one, I'll be able to find one. Next, there's uh, a skeleton. Skeletons, they shoot arrows. They're just as high as creepers, and they shoot skeletons. Or, they shoot arrows. Arrows, uh, you can dodge them, but they're still pretty fast, and I can't move that fast, uh, especially in this world. I don't know why it limits my speed, 
I don't know what world we're in. Minecraft, you can't predict anything. All right. And then there are zombies. Zombies, they're pretty much uh, human, except they're not. They have no brains, so they can't think for themselves. They can't think strategy or anything. They just come at you and swing their fists. So what you got to do is you just keep hitting them over and over again with your sword because they can't touch you. All right. And then uh, the last thing is a spider, or at least in this place. The last thing is a spider. They're about uh, two blocks wide uh, by uh, two by two. And what they can do is they're only one tall, and they can they can fit into small places. Uh, and they once they get close enough, they can leap at you and attack you. So you can just uh, yeah you just have to time it right and jump back and hit them. So and I hear that something's hurting this skeleton. Let's go check it out.